chief executives who will try to accomplish a true strategic transformation of their company will make uh, three major decisions. First, decide what kind of transformation do you actually need. There are very different flavors. Some companies have a very uh, unstable business model and there's an urgency to really change it. You also have on another dimension the financial strength, the relative competitive position, and your ability to invest in a transformation. So you can see the situations where perhaps it's not that urgent, you have the ability to do it, but you have this, this burning ambition as opposed to a burning platform to stay ahead of the curve. And that kind of transformation will have a very different feel and choreography, which I'll come to, versus one that companies in deep, uh, in deep dire straits, you have to go big or go home and don't have much time before the, uh, the forces begin to collapse that company's uh, performance. So what kind of transformation decide that? That's an important decision because it then follows around a set of decisions around what I'd call choreography. The levers to actually deliver a transformation are pretty straightforward and well understood. Strategy, organization, operations, capital structure. But I use the term choreography because the sequence in which you would do these, the pace, the cadence, do we go full, full bore on six different fronts at the same time? Or do we do some strategy work first before we do the org second? Those decisions are going to be directly linked to that kind of transformation decision that we talked about. And then the third big decision is, even if you have some sense of the choreography, is how will you actually choose to manage the transformation? Who is the choreographer? And a chief executive has to align up and down the board behind them, their management team, often in a transformation, by the way, that management team itself will need to be changed out in some meaningful ways. And then ulti ultimately, how will it go out in the organization? At the extremes, most companies prefer to implement change, even transformative change, through the line. That's the most natural motion of any company. Yet in a transformation, the line itself, what you call the line, is not stable. Uh, you might need to be building different capabilities. You might be changing your operating model because the way the line decisions were set up are different in the transformation of the future that you're trying to accomplish. So for some period of time, and potentially a meaningful period of time, you need a transformation results delivery office to drive change while the line is doing the day job. And if you get that right, the right model, the right choreography, the right starting point, you know, as a chief executive, you actually have increased likelihood of doing perhaps the hardest thing to do in the company's life cycle. Get it through this inflection point, set it up for the future as a different kind of company, and perhaps really cement your legacy as a CEO forever.